Hello everyone, welcome to another video on this channel. Today I'll briefly show you how to run Wipeout Pure at 60fps natively on PSP using Pro Slash C custom firmware. If you have played Wipeout Pure on PSP before, you may know that it sometimes has issues with performance when there's a lot going on on the screen. However, if you have Pro Slash C custom firmware installed on your PSP, you can very easily run the game at 60fps by changing the CPU clock speed. Now before we begin, let's first take a quick look at some regular gameplay without any modifications. You can see that the game runs at about 30fps, but there is a noticeable drop in performance particularly when there are lots of ships on the screen and when weapons are being fired by opponents. I'll now show you how to increase the CPU clock speed to allow the game to run at 60fps. As I mentioned at the start of the video, you will need Pro Slash C custom firmware installed on your PSP. To keep this video short, I will not run you through the installation process for Pro Slash C, as I'm sure there are plenty of tutorials online showing how to do this already. So, if your PSP is running Pro Slash C custom firmware, here is what you need to do. Press the select button to show the Pro Slash C menu. You'll see an option that says CPU clock game, set it to 333-166. This simply adjusts the CPU clock speed to 333 MHz, which is the maximum clock speed supported by the PSP's processor. And that's it. Exit the Pro Slash C menu and launch the game. I will skip to the start of a race to save time. And I am now racing with the CPU clock speed set to 333 MHz. As you can see, the frame rate is very smooth and rarely drops below 60 FPS. This makes the game feel much more responsive than before and, in my opinion, a bit easier to play. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left side of your screen, you can see how the game performs at default CPU clock speed, and on the right side of your screen, you can see how the game performs at 333 MHz CPU clock speed. I should mention that the game can only run at 60fps on single race mode. For some reason, all other modes including time trial, zone mode and free play all have an artificial frame rate limit of 30fps. It is also important to remember that increasing the CPU speed will drain the battery much quicker. I would recommend using the PSP while it is plugged into the wall with an AC adapter so you don't have to worry about the battery running out sooner than expected. And that's the end of the video. Although I've only shown Wipeout Pure in this demonstration, there's many other games that can benefit from increased CPU clock speed as well. If you have a PSP with Pro Slash C custom firmware installed, I recommend trying out this method yourself. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below and please remember to press the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see future content from my channel.